welcome to Angatel Elementary School Virtual Graduation Ceremony Class of 2021. To start off with the singing of the National Anthem, followed by the Doxology, Regional Hymn, and Pangasinan Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event. Bless everyone present here today that each one of us may be able to share what he or she have for your glory and honor. We pray for our graduates today and leave them before you. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence of peace that can only come from your spirit. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path. Shine over them. Fill them with your spirit. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. Others I wonder As I search for wealth and fame 
To give an opening remarks, let us hear it from Dr. Reagan I. Prado, Principal 2 of Angatel Elementary School. Our most esteemed municipal officials, headed by Honorable Martin Raul T. Sison, our equally supportive barangay officials, spearheaded by Barangay Captain Maximo Mondero, our cooperative PTE officials, led by Mrs. Joni Makatantan, our district supervisor, Dr. Luncino Di Ferrer, our diligent colleagues in the teaching profession, loving parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day to one and all. This day signifies the culmination of your struggle and sacrifices of your education. I know that there is a feeling of joy and sadness. At long last, you were able to hurdle with success despite the pandemic brought about by COVID-19. But the word success cannot be achieved nor completed without the guidance and assistance of your family, relatives, and teachers whom you acquired experiences and learning. These important people add color and light in your graduation and moving up. I believe that words alone are not enough to say thank you in this tremendous manifestation of love. The feeling of happiness and gratefulness as we say welcome and mabuhay you deserve our warm felicitation. In behalf of the teaching force of Angatel Elementary School, our fervent welcome to one and all. Welcome and God bless us all. Thank you. Once again, may we call on Dr. Ragan I. Prado for the presentation of candidates for graduation. Sir, I have the honor to present to you a total of 77 strong candidates for graduation of which 37 are male and 40 are female and with the strong recommendations of their advisors that they have satisfactorily completed and complied all the minimum requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 basic education curriculum. Sir, they are now ready for your confirmation. By the authority of the school's division superintendent, and acting upon the recommendation of your school principal that you have successfully completed all the requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education for Elementary. I, Dr. Longino D. Ferrer, Arbistondo Public Schools District Supervisor, hereby confirm your graduation rights and declare you elementary graduates. I therefore confer upon you all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Here are the messages coming from DepEd Secretary Dinor Magtolis Briones, followed by Regional Director Tolentino G. Aquino, OIC Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Ellie S. Ubaldo, 
and Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Longino D. Ferrer. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Lubos ang aking kagalakan na makapagbigay ng mensahe sa inyo, mahal naming mga magulang, guro, punong guro, at higit sa lahat, sa inyo, ating mga completers at graduates mula sa kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, grade 12, at sa ating learners from the Alternative Learning System na pumasa sa Portfolio Assessment. Ang tema ng ating End of School Year Rights ay kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Ang pandemya ang dulot ng COVID-19 ang nagudyok sa lahat ng educational leaders na gumawa ng mga tough choices sa gitna ng tanong, paano mapapangalagaan ang kaligtasan ng mga guro at paano may hahatid ang edukasyon sa mga mag-aaral? Ayon nga kay Secretary Briones, education must continue even in times of crisis. Sa pagtutulungan nga ng mga magulang, mag-aaral, kaguruan at stakeholders na itawid natin ang school year 2020-2021. Tunay ngang napakalaga ng ating silibrasyon na yung school year 2020-2021 because for the first time in history, the school and home have finally touched base together for a common aspiration. Nagpapatunay na malaki ang bahagi ng parental involvement sa academic achievement ng isang mag-aaral. As parents and teachers work together to address our children's needs, we are able to form a formidable team to combat ignorance and keep relevant values that every home and society cherish. Batid ko ang inyong mga pasakit at pinagdaanan Maitawid lamang ang inyong pag-aaral. Mental stress, dala ng independent learning, unstable internet connectivity, problema sa kahirapan ng buhay. Ngunit lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan ninyo. Ang inyong ipinakitang tibay ay kamangha-mangha. Ito ay nagpapakita ng katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Lastly, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, please appreciate your parents. To be a good father and mother requires that the parents defer many of their own needs and desires in favor of the needs of their children. You never know what sacrifices they went through for you. Respect your teachers. Teachers spend most of their nights planning, most of their mornings explaining, most of their afternoons correcting, most of their years encouraging, 
most of their lives stressing what matters most in life and it's all for your future so don't make their jobs more difficult congratulations to you our precious children parents teachers and school heads for continuously making the flames of education burn amidst the darkness of these times. Babuhay! Our very own Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Ellie S. Obaldo, two of our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Josdado Aykayabyab and Dr. Maria Criselda Okang, school administrator, faculty and staff who have passionately and committedly exerted extraordinary services and efforts this school year, equally supportive and dedicated parents who have sacrificed so much to better make this school year worth noted of its cost. Our pupils and students who brave hard with the challenges of this year's learning and for their untiring battle to continue education. To each and every one of us, we all did a great job. Our undying struggle is undeniably evident as this school year 2020-2021 tests the toughest of our plight. We have fought a good fight until today and the torch of wisdom continuously sheds its light in bringing hope that education stays in the limelight despite what the whole nation has gone through with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our commencement exercises today is a denouement of our endless perseverance and that we're now certain we have triumphs to celebrate. This year's theme strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic bespeaks of the Department of Education's unwavering hope that with our sacrifices, our unfailing cravings for knowledge and wisdom, we have stood still and rewarded this date. We have pushed more than enough and stepped up from our boundaries in order to deliver quality education for all, and we all did. I can see how our learners today the joy of achieving and completing all their prerequisites. I can feel how each and every parent awesomely sigh upon making it really happen this year. I can honestly discern too that all our teachers are overwhelmed that we have come to reap the hardships of what we have sown. Indeed, today we thank God that we have stand our grounds until the end. It was truly a happy graduation day. All this only showed that with high hopes and spirit, whatever comes ahead of us again, for as long as we believe in its sense, we will because we can. We will continuously do our part and support each other, and we can do it even better again and again. Let us all give ourselves a round of resounding applause and congratulations, Batch 2020-2021. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor to present to you the successful 77 completers of Angatal Elementary School from the class of 2021. That is a start with the honor roll. With high honors, Mendoza Ezekiah A. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Angelito D. Mendoza. With honors, Ferrer Mark Gerald S. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Marvin and Ferrer. Makaraag Eunice R. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Eugene D. Makaraag. Sarmiento Nerea Grace T. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Reynald D. Sarmiento Cabilian Gemery T. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jesus R. Cabilian 14. Daniel S. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo D. 14 Kua Ryzen J. E. Son of Mr. and Mrs. 
Elias John H. Kua. Idlawan, Trisha May M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Tirso T. Idlawan. Dolores Janelu T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arnold M. Dolores. Pagligayan Angelica C., daughter of Mr. Angelo R. Paglingayan. Gingab Jonaline B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Javier G. Gingab. Dukusin Cresea Grace T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo T. Dukusin. Here are the successful completers from the grade 6A class. Starting off with Baniked Cholo G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Tito P. Baniked. Brian Roberto Jr. R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Sr. F. Brian. Bostarde Sunny Jr. C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Sunny Sr. and Bostarde. Kaingal Frederick T., son of Mr. and Mrs. Fermin T. Kaingal. Gueta, Justin Kyle E., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jojo M. Gueta. Lobos, Lucky Jasper B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Nestor S. Lobos. Lomboy Jiraya A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jetman F. Lomboy. Makatantan Jerick G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Richard Makatantan. Pagya Gustin B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Gilbert A. Pagya. Tapiador Floro Jr. M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Floro Sr. T. Tapiador. Tapiador Jason C., son of Mr. Nelson C. Tapiador. Verseles John Paulo L., son of Mr. and Mrs. Romeo P. Verseles. Kaingal Maria Fatima M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gaudencio E. Kaingal. Kaingal Samantha D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo M. Kaingal. The twin J. Ann A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rakito II A. The, the Twin. The Vera Christina M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ronald C. De Vera. Fernandez Jenny T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry T. Fernandez. For Milos Francesca T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edgar R. Formilos. Lomboy, Jamaica May C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joey R. Lomboy. Palisok, Rian Ashley C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Raquel G. Palisok. Rosario G. and G., Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Noel B. Rosario. Rosario Myra F. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Samuel M. Rosario. Sebastian Casero T. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Noel B. Sebastian. Tampico Jessica D. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felamir F. Tampico. Tapiador Joanna May R. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Armando M. Tapiador. Valdez Cheryl D. 
daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Chris S. Valdez. Here are the graduating class of Grade 6, Section B, School Year 2020-2021. Arenas John Ray B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Reggie Arenas. Bataan Roni R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Bataan. Bukaloy Chibi A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Joel Bukaloy. Bukaloy Jonald A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Joel Bukaloy. Kaingal James B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Kaingal. Dapulano Ariel D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Arturo Dapulano. The Twin J.R.M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Marcelo the Twin. De Guzman Dexter B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Dennis De Guzman. De Guzman John Lloyd M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Loreto De Guzman. De Guzman Mark B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Saudi De Guzman. Dural Eddie P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Tony Dural. Ferrer Gerald T., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Ferrer. Grospe Sergio D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Grospe. Lau Janrin Christopher A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rennie Boy Lau. Madarang Jimuel Paglingayen, son of Mr. and Mrs. Renato Madara. Mancao Cody G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rovino Mancao. Mondero Jeffrey M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Pedro Mondero. Mondero Mac Terence D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Marcos Mondero. Patayan Aldrin T., son of Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Patayan. Tapiador Arman A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Sonny Tapidor. Tawaay Ramel Sir S., son of Mr. and Mrs. Romel Tawaay. Alat Daniela S., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ronelo Alat. Arenas CJZ, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jojo Arenas. Bataan Mary Ann D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Federico Bataan. Bonete Tricia May B., daughter of Mrs. Raquel Bonete. Kaingal Pia B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arturo Kaingal. The Twin Jinky D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Domingo The Twin. Dayog Wendy D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Greg Dayog. Liwanag Rosemary M., Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Liwanag. Loberia Era H. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edgardo Loberia. Madarcos Patricia May R. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Madarcos. Padrigo Jessime A. Daughter of Mr. Jahashel Padrigo. Paglingayen Abigail L. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto Paglingayen. Paglingayen, Rosalind B. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Paglingayen. Paglingayen, Robilyn B. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Paglingayen. Sabangan, Janica May P. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joan Sabangan. Soriano Kim B. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rene Soriano. Soriano, Micah V. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sandre Soriano. And Tapiador Aiko C. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Benjar Tapiador. For his words of gratitude, may we call on Hezekiah A. Mendoza, grade 6 completer. It wasn't long ago when we are all surprised with the sudden halt of going to school this last March 16, 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has shocked all of us and it was all over the news. 
With that, we all accepted the fact that we will be glued in our homes. And of course, made us sad but still hopeful. Fair enough, we entered the new normal delivery of education, being the first batch in grade 6 that undergone the modular distance learning. From the opening of classes last October 5 until we finished our modules just last week. I am in an emotional situation where I think we've come a long, long way. From not knowing what to do to missing actually what we do every day. From the self-learning modules we have to study, to the performance tasks we have to accomplish, to the other learning activities we have to finish, it's been a year of roller coaster of emotion. In behalf of the class 2021, we give our heartfelt gratitude as we say thank you to all who have been a part of our success in this journey. First and foremost, to our loving parents and guardians along with our siblings and other relatives who became our teachers this time at home. This time of pandemic, we want to express our heartfelt thanks for never giving up on us. From facilitating our learning at home and giving the best for us for more than 7 years of our elementary life. To our teachers who dedicated their life in teaching us, thank you, mom and sir. Our second parents and truly figures of inspiration. Thank you for all the good years you shared with us. Our journey has become life-changing and worth remembering because of you. And to all my classmates, have been my friends for life. I will miss you all. We haven't seen each other for a year now, but I believe our memories will hold in our hearts forever. As we enter high school, keep all of your promises to study even better and make up best, the best of what, what we have today until we see each other again. Good luck to all of you and most importantly to our God Almighty the holder of the future. Thank you for the gift of life. By your love and by your grace, we, all, we will triumph every hurdle that will come our way. You have been in our success since day one. We lift everything to you, Lord. Truly, this journey we have taken is very different and challenging, yet it is also one of the most unforgettable and fulfilling moments. COVID-19 was strong, but we working together are stronger. As we embark another journey, I know that we will experience fear of uncertainty of tomorrow. I will leave this guiding principle to all of you that education is our passport to the future. Tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Congratulations to all of us and cheers for more exciting tomorrow. Thank you all and God bless. Class of 2021, signing off. In behalf of Angatel Elementary School teaching and non-teaching staff, we would like to thank you all for making this virtual graduation ceremony of our grade 6 learners and moving up ceremony of our kindergarten pupils. Accept also our warmest congratulations, our dear graduates and competitors, for successfully finishing this school year despite the pandemic we are facing. Thank you, magandang araw po sa ating lahat, and God bless us all.
ng oras na tayo ay magwawalay upang lakbayin ang landas patungo sa ating bukas masakit man sa damdamin iwanan ang nakaraan ngunit dahil sa munting pangarap kailangan nating maglakbay